What are you using, spring? And, and do you use little at auto wires? Do you have those little at auto wires scattered all through your code? If you look, if you look through modules, do you see the auto wire? Did you see all that stuff scattered through your code? The framework has insinuated itself into your code. Right? Can you imagine trying to get rid of that dependency injection framework? What if there's a better one that comes out? I don't know, we're using this one because the auto wired is everywhere. Now, what dependencies should you inject? Everything? Or are there a few key strategic dependencies, a few factories, a few strategies that you could inject into one of the peripheral modules of your system? I like to call that main, by the way. The main module of your system, which is behind a boundary. You could inject a few critical dependencies into that one and then pass those dependencies around the system by normal means, which I know means that you're working in the 1990s and it seems out of date. And on the other hand, it will keep that dependency injection system from infiltrating everywhere. Has anybody had the problem that when you do a build and the build fails, it's because something in the dependency injection scripts and descriptors have gotten screwed up? And you don't know where, it takes a long time to hunt through it. And oh yeah, there's this version and that version and that version and all that XML gets in the way. Keep that dependency injection small. You don't have to inject everything. You should not inject everything. Inject a few critical things and then pass everything else around normally.